finish off that last example here for the third part of the notes. Uh, if you remember, we had the points 1, 0 and 0, negative 3. And we needed to find the distance between those two points. Remember your distance formula. D equals square root difference of the x-coordinates squared plus the difference of the y-coordinates squared. x1 minus x2 y1 minus y2. It's just a matter of substituting in those values. Okay, our x-coordinates are 1 and 0, so I'm going to subtract those, 1 minus 0. Our y-coordinates are 0 and negative 3. So simplifying that, here's what I have. 1 minus 0 squared is 1 squared. 0 minus negative 3 is 3, and I'm squaring that. Notice it is now 1 plus 9, which gives me 10. And if I want a decimal approximation, square root of 10 in the calculator is about 3.2. And there you go. 3.2 is the distance between these two lines right here. Okay, let's have a look at another one. Okay, and we'll go through this one a little bit quicker. Okay, I got 2x plus a half and 2x plus 3. Um, first of all, I need to figure out a point. Um, I'm going to go to an easy point. I know this, we're going to cross through 0, 3. That is a point on that line there. And I know my slopes here are 2. Perpendicular to that would be negative 1 half. We'll make an equation out of that. y equals negative 1 half x plus 3, because that's the y-intercept. So this equation right here is perpendicular to both of them. Okay, I already have one point to work on, 0, 3. i got to find another point. So I'm going to set this equation, negative 1 half x plus 3, equal to the top equation, 2x plus 1 half. Once again, I'm going to, before solving for x, I'm going to clear my fractions. My denominators are 2. I'm going to multiply everything by a 2. So I'm going to get negative 1x plus 6 equals 4x plus 1. Multiplying everything by 2 gets rid of my fractions. All right, uh, let's add 1x to both sides to get 5x. Let's subtract 1 to get 5. Divide by x or divide by 5, rather, and I get x equals 1. All right, I now need to find a uh, y-coordinate for this, so I'm going to take this 1 and plug it back up in here, and that's going to give me negative 1 half plus 3, which is 2 and a half, which could also be written as 5 halves. Okay, so points I have are 1 comma 5 halves and 0 comma 3. If I find the distance between those two points, it'll be the distance between those two lines. I'll make this a little bit easier by rewriting it as 2.5. So at least make the subtraction and the math a little bit easier for us. Okay, distance formula. Distance is the square root between the difference of the y-coordinates, well, or the x-coordinates, let's do the x-coordinates first. 1 minus 0 is 1 squared, and the difference between the y-coordinates. How far is it from 2.5 to 3? Well, that's only 0.5. Okay, so if I take uh, 1 squared, I get 1. If I take 0.5 squared, I get 0.25. those together I get 1.25. Remember I'm taking the square root of all that and in the calculator if I do the square root of 1.25 I get 1.1. 1 